Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hankster's Hot Rods and we have another beautiful car to show you on our video today. But before we get to that, we're gonna tell you about some new things that we're doing here at Hankster's. We are doing add-ons on the vehicles now, such as disc brakes, vintage air conditioning, digital gauges, exhaust, wheels, and so on. Um, take this car for example. Um, it does not have air conditioning, but if you wanna add it, we can do that here. Um, it has drum brakes on the back. If you wanna add disc brakes, we can do that here. If you want to change the exhaust, the wheels, the gauges, we can do that here and many, many other things. Uh, just let us know. We just want to let you know um, that that option is there for you and available and we can do all those things here. Um, we also have financing available for all of our vehicles. If you go on our website at www.hangsters.com, you'll see next to each vehicle there is a financing tab. You just click on that tab, fill out the application, hit enter or submit down at the bottom. It gets sent to us and we'll notify you immediately that we got it. Uh, we also have a powertrain warranty available on all of our vehicles. That is on the engine transmission differential, internally lubricated parts only. Um, and that is for three months or 3,000 miles. And of course, if you have a four wheel drive on our website, that would cover the transfer case in the front differential also. Um, we just wanna let everybody know that that's available um, and out there. Also, we wanna let you know if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll get to see all of our videos, past videos. Uh, starting off here, um, first thing you notice is the striping and the paint. Paint is forest green. That is the correct color that this car came in when it was new. And the striping, you're gonna notice, it's got uh, white striping on the hood and white striping on the sides of the body. And we're gonna go over everything as we walk around. Um, you're gonna see Yanko emblems on it. This is not a true Yanko. It is a Yanko Deuce clone style. Um, has all the correct uh, emblems and the correct striping and so on on it. And we're gonna show you that as we go around the vehicle. Uh, first thing, as I had said, we got the white striping down the side of the body for the Yanko Deuce, which we'll see the rest of it as we continue on. Um, we have down here for the wheels and tires, we have the 14 inch steel wheels, which are painted in the body color, so they match. Uh, you have the dishes there, a lot of people call them dog dishes. And we have the a Firestone wide oval raised white letter tires, which are really cool and really go with the uh, vintage look of the car. Coming on back here, uh, first thing we'll address is our first gap on the driver's side. First gap, fender to door. Very even going down. You see our body lines right here and right here line up very nicely. Our bright work on the car is in good shape. We do have some scratching here and there, some indentations, but overall not too bad. Our driver's side windshield, that's in good condition as well as is our driver's side glass. There's no chips and cracks there and these are slightly tinted. Coming on back to our second gap driver's side, door to quarter panel. Very even going down again. So your body lines right there line up nicely and so does it right there. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up the driver's side door and we'll address the interior here. Door jams are in really nice condition. You got the chrome door sill plates vinyl bench seats front and back and you can see in the interior we have the yanko uh, clone style um, overall theme of the car continuing with the door uh, placards and the stickers on the headrest as well you have a four-speed manual transmission on the floor you can see uh, kick panel speakers you got the carpeting is in great shape the dash is really nice the seats are in great condition Really nice interior in the car and a dash pad is really nice as well. Moving along, coming on back here, the paint really has a nice shine on the car, really stands out with the green and the white offsetting it. Um, our back window here, that's also in good shape. Our bright work on the car back here again, some scratching, but overall not too bad. Our gapping on our trunk side to side here, both look really nice. And you'll see the white striping, as I would have had mentioned, the Yanko Do striping, uh, hence the theme of the car, does wrap up over the quarter panel and down the trunk, down onto the tail panel here. Our rear bumper chrome is in really nice condition. That's in great shape. And you'll see the Yanko badging right here on the side there as well. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the trunk and we'll go everything in, go over the floor of the trunk and so on. Thank you. 
Underneath the trunk, it is body color. Our weather stripping is intact going around and in good shape. Our jams also in good shape there. Down here on the trunk floor, you'll see it's painted black. And of course, you've got the blue colored uh, sprinkled paint all over. A lot of really nice effect on there. But the floor itself is in good condition. Um, you have the, all your indentations, your drains here and here. You got your mounts back there for your spare. All looks really nice. Of course, you got it all painted up inside here as well. Moving along, coming along to the passenger side. Again, the striping continues on this side as well. And you see the uh, Yanko Do striping and the paint is really shiny here as well. That's the overall theme of the car. Paint is really nice. Coming up to our first gap passenger side, quarter panel to door. Very even going down. You see our body lines down here and up here are very nice. Our passenger side glass, also no chips and cracks and slightly tinted. And you do have an exterior mirror on this side as well. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up the passenger door. You can see the door jams are really nice. See how great the condition of seats and the carpeting and the dash is from here. You got the aftermarket gauges mounted under the dash there. That is a aftermarket. You got the uh, aftermarket shifter there. The Muncie aftermarket shifter, very nice shifter. Second gap. Pas uh, passenger side door to fender. Very even going down. You see our body line there and there it lines up very nicely. Passenger side windshield, no chips and cracks. Gapping from the cow area to the hood, very even going across and not bad going down the sides of both. One thing you'll see on the hood, now that you can see straight on, this does have a hood tack. That's what came on the Yanko Deuces, and that one is indeed functional. Coming around to the front, you see we got the theme of the car continuing with the Deuce uh, M, uh, decals here. Our front grille is in great condition. I don't see any broken pieces there. It looks really nice. Our front bumper is in good shape as well. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the hood and we'll go over everything in the engine bay here. Underneath the hood, you can see painted as well. It's painted in a black. Um, you can see we got all of our material in here. Looks really nice condition. Um, inner aprons are also in black and so is your rad support there. Um, what we have here is a 350 Chevrolet small block V8. We got a Summit aluminum intake and a Summit four barrel carburetor. We have power steering, power brakes. Um, we got the uh, uh, long tube headers there. We got a really nice package here. It runs really good. Um, and that's it guys. What we're going to do next is we're going to put this up in the air and go over the undercarriage for you. Hey guys, we got our 70 Nova up in the air. We're going to do a walkthrough of our undercarriage here. We're going to point out the components and so on of uh, the underneath of the vehicle. And I always start at the front. Our control arms look to be of a stock style. Um, we do have disc brakes on the front drum brakes on the rear. Um, our front cross member, nice and solid. Um, no rust, no holes or anything on that. Um, we also have a front sway bar on this vehicle. Uh, we got a Pro Street engine dampener. Uh, very nice uh, on the front of the car here. Um, like I had said, we got the steel wheels with the wide oval tires there. Um, our oil pan on our 350. The oil pan seal, our rear main seal, our side case seals on our Muncie transmission and rear case seals, and our output seal, all nice and dry. I don't see any leaks on any of those. Uh, we do have dual exhaust on the vehicle. As you can see, we got long tube headers and two pipes exhaust system. We got a pipes X pipe here. We got pipes mufflers, pipes tailpipes, and we're gonna go over that as we walk back. Um, our transmission cross member here, nice and solid, no rust or anything on that either. Um, our e-brake cables right here, as you can see, 
going back to both wheels. Our flooring in the car, well, let me address something else before I move on. Our front frame sections, as you can see here, those look really good on both sides. Those are very nice, both in great condition and both look really good. Um, our flooring underneath this car is very, very nice. As you can see, it's painted in a red oxide type of color. Um, you've got all your crossbars here. You've got all your embossments. You've got your drains. Everything, the floor is really nice in the car, great condition. Coming along back here, um, our exhaust system, as I had mentioned, we've got the pipes brand X pipe here coming into pipes violator mufflers. Going into pipes tailpipes, we go up over and they come out and dump on either side of the leaf springs back there. Um, to mention that, we got leaf spring suspension on the back of the car. Stock style shocks, they've definitely been replaced, they're newer. Um, the leaf spring front mounts. are really good on the front there. Those look good there. Um, like I had mentioned, we got drum brakes on the back. We got a 12 bolt differential here in the rear, our input seal at the differential, and our rear differential cover on our 12 bolt rear look really good. We got no leaks here, no leaks at the input, uh, the input seal either. Our flooring up above the differential also continues to be really nice, to, uh, really nice and solid there. Um, our fuel tank looks to be pretty new. It's nice and silver still. Um, our straps mounting points look good and our strap mounting points here look really good. Again, our rear frame sections look good and look good. Our rear spring hangers or shackles, whatever you want to call them there. Um, those are really nice on both sides. You can see our tank here looks really good. Um, we got our lines here look good. All in all, looks really nice under here. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to drop it down and fire it up so you can hear the engine run. <laughs> 